Um, what a great afternoon um, in Phoenix's warehouse district. Welcome to all of you. My name is Mike Cowley. I'm the president of Cowley Companies. Um, we are a local real estate company and have been investing in the warehouse district for the last 15 years or so. Um, for those of you who have, who, have, who have not been in the neighborhood recently, um, we're honored to have you here and um, glad to have you here to experience the true resurrection we are seeing in this, in this area. Just behind us, you'll see the history of the district. From Phoenix's earliest days, the warehouse district has been the first stop for goods and for commerce. It was, this has always been an industrial area, um, and it was, it was very industrial in the 20th century. Um, today we are, cel we are celebrating a new reality. The freight train has been replaced by a commuter light rail. The, the master craftsman has made way for MBAs. Yesterday's conductors are today's coders. Today this place is rising from the ashes and becoming the coolest redevelopment area in the, in the city. Companies like WebPT, Cahoots, and ASU have joined us here as neighbors. Um, as you know, you may, may know, um, WebPT, which offices across the street in, in the building behind you, um, they are moving out of that warehouse and moving and relocating over here um, when this building is complete. Today, um, Mayor Greg Stanton is with us. He's here to talk about and announce who the other tenant in this building is going to be. And I'm going to turn that over to you. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Or afternoon, excuse me. <laughs> it's always morning in Phoenix where you'll get to be mayor of the best city in the United States of America. Thank you, Mike Cowley. You were doing great work in the warehouse district before it is cool, before it was cool. The best landlord in the city, Mike Cowley, we appreciate you. Let's give a big round of applause. And yes, we have an incredibly exciting announcement to make here. Before we do, I want to make sure I properly say thank you to some of the other leaders that are here with us uh, uh, today. My colleagues on the City Council, Councilman Kate Geiger, who does an awesome job representing the Warehouse District, a great advocate, has made this very hospitable. My friend, the Vice Mayor of our city, who has made building a strong entrepreneurial economy his number one focus since he has been on the Council, and we've come a long way. You've been very, your work has been critical to make this event uh, uh, happen. We're heading in the right direction. Vice Mayor Daniel Valenzuela. The guy who represents economic development in this region, we are headed in the right direction as a region. We work so closely together. Uh, our friend, the CEO of Greater Phoenix Economic Council, Chris Camacho. Where's Chris? There you are right there. Thank you, Chris. And no offense to representatives of any of the other cities in the Valley of the Sun, but we are blessed in the city of Phoenix to have by far the best economic development director in, the, in our state, Christine Mackey, wherever you are. Christine, you are awesome. You're... You're humble in the back there, Chris. That's, that's not like you. I mean, come on. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> and of course, two new friends that you'll be hearing from in, in just a few uh, uh, moments. Uh, our friends, and I'll, we'll say why they'll be speaking in just a few moments, Jim Dieters and Lawrence Mandes representing Galvanize. Thank you for, uh, for choosing Phoenix. This is a very, very exciting time. So we are here to formally announce, can I get a drum roll, Danny? Let's get a drum roll. There we go. Galvanize is coming to Phoenix in the warehouse district. This incredible technology education company will expand its footprint to Phoenix right here in our warehouse district, bringing with it a coding school, co-working space, and a startup investment fund. Galvanize will join Phoenix's rapidly growing innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem to train the next generation of software developers, data scientists, other leaders in the business of technology. They have built a community of campuses across the United States 
in Denver, Boulder, Fort Collins in Colorado, and in San Francisco, Seattle, and Austin, and now Phoenix, Arizona. Galvanize has a unique model. They provide world-class education, connecting students to growing startups and leading technology companies, and support passionate founders themselves. They are changing the landscape of entrepreneurship as we know it. And when I was lucky enough to first meet Lawrence and Jim, like everyone who meets these guys, I was blown away by their vision and how much they have already accomplished in the other cities in which Galvanize has located. And I knew, as Danny Valenzuela and Kay Gallego knew, we needed Galvanize in Phoenix, Arizona. They see our community, what we all see, for its talent, growth, progress, innovation, success for our potential. They know that the Phoenix area was ranked number two nationally in the creation of software technology jobs between 2012 and 14 that were home to some of the most innovative uh, companies, certainly the most innovative university in the world, Arizona State University, down in downtown Tempe and other locations, that we've connected a network of startups and entrepreneurs who are committed to making our city, Phoenix, a vibrant, viable place for ventures to launch, grow, and succeed. To give you an idea of their impact, the starting salary of a galvanized graduate ranges up to $114,000. They're training quality people for high quality jobs. And they're gonna fit right into our Yes Phoenix uh, community. And oh, by the way, if you're doing social media on this event, Yes Phoenix included, hashtag. <laughs> their job placement rate, 97%. You don't have to be a data scientist to know that those success rates will be game changers for our local uh, economy. They work with the best companies in the United States of America and on planet Earth. Here today to just give a little bit of proof of case, if you will, as to how the leading companies in America hire these graduates. Galvanize is announcing today, and I get to make that announcement, a partnership with Allstate to train employees in the technology field, they're gonna go work in software development for uh, Allstate. Galvanize will train more than 100 software developers per year starting in 2016. And Allstate has already agreed to hire up to 150 Galvanize graduates. What a great partnership and you're just getting started. Let's thank Allstate, let's thank Galvanize. <laughs> Allstate wanted to make sure they were first in line, first of many companies are gonna be in line to work with Galvanize to grow our tech workforce. It's gonna make Allstate a stronger place in their market, and it's gonna make our local tech market stronger overall. Galvanize is here today because of the persistent hard work of so many people in our community. You're gonna hear from some of them, including my colleagues on the uh, council who were essential to making this great announcement here uh, today. We also a huge debt of gratitude to the city's industrial development authority, led by John Salgado, who is uh, here. You and your board, visionary leaders to make smart investments in, in opportunities like this. So John, you, you and your team, we owe a huge debt of gratitude. Remember, if you don't know about the Industrial Development Authority, City of Phoenix, get to know it because they're making smart investments in our community. I'd be remiss if I didn't also acknowledge a tech company that has already been working to shape this area in our city into one of the most welcoming and engaging for tech companies. Heidi and Brad Jananga of WebPT, they are pioneers, they are leaders. Their decision to move their company to our warehouse district has been a massive game changer to give the confidence to others to come to this area uh, as well. For the third straight year, WebPT was ranked among, on Inc. Magazine's 5,000 fastest growing uh, companies, and they're gonna be partners. They're gonna be married to each other right here at this location. WebPT is moving their uh, headquarters right here to this warehouse and so that they can grow and expand as they, they need to do. And that's another important announcement we're making today. Galvanize is coming to Phoenix. Galvanize is a great partnership with Allstate, and WebPT is gonna be physically their uh, partner. I'm sure hiring their graduates as well. And WebPT has been so successful that they're already moving to a larger location in the warehouse di district. This is the kind of day that mayors and council members dream of. We have so much great news to deliver, and these announcements are truly a sign that 
our hard work, our vision, what we've been working towards, the kind of economy we want to be working towards is paying off. Galvanize WebPT in Allstate. And all of you here today, your leaders as well, your visionaries as well, you are helping to build one of the most generous community of startups and entrepreneurs in the nation. And for those of us who refer to Phoenix's tipping point, we are at a tipping point, and today we are tipping in the right direction. Our momentum from here is going to be unstoppable. So thanks to all of you, and particularly thank you to Galvanize for making this choice. I know a lot of cities you could have made this investment, this commitment to, you chose our community and chose the right neighborhood in our community right here in the, in the warehouse, uh, Jim. So that, without further ado, let's hear from the visionary behind Galvanize, who came up with this incredibly successful uh, concept. The leader and visionary behind Galvanize, Jim Dieters. Um, wow, it's really hard to uh, follow up uh, from uh, Mayor Stanton. Um, and uh, it is a uh, great humbling experience to stand in front of all of you that represent this, uh, this amazing community. And if we couldn't do this without so many people that have been a part of it. A big part of what Galvanize was about, and it's in the name, was about coalescing a group of innovators, about bringing together unique partnerships from municipal leaders, government leaders that are visionaries and believe in their community, from innovators and entrepreneurs that are part of their community, and of course, industry players that are committed to the community to hire and, and develop uh, talent. Coalescing all these players and bringing them together as one to do something amazing for this town, for this community, is something that I think is um, a symbol for what should be going on in America for partnerships across these constituencies to build jobs, to build meaningful work for many, many people. So along those lines, of course, I must thank a whole bunch of people. Of course, Mayor Stanton, thank you very much. That was one heck of an intro. Um, uh, Councilwoman Gallego, obviously we cannot do that without your help. Vice Mayor Valenzuela, and of course, um, the IDA who was mentioned here as well that spent a lot of time. Mr. Salgado, um, uh, Don Kuth, I hope I did not butcher your name, Don, I have not met you yet. Krista Severns and Sal Riviera, and of course other um, uh, distinguished guests and um, uh, officials that are here. And of course my colleagues, Lawrence Mendez, who's uh, been working on this project with my Cali, and um, the innovators that have come f before us, of course, Heidi and Brad and WebPT across the street. It's really awesome to get a chance to come in and, and stand on top of the shoulders of great people and great leaders that have built a foundation for us to become um, part of that tipping point, right? To become part of the fabric of and build upon some of the amazing things that have already um, begun here. So let me tell you a little bit about, about Galvanize and why we came here, if all those other amazing things about this community weren't uh, part of it. We're a different type of education company. We're an education company that believes in aligning industry and academia. We believe that working uh, and learning should be synonymous with one another. And we believe um, that the world is rapidly, rapidly changing. Everyone is a tech company now. No matter what industry you are, big or small, um, uh, sophisticated or not, this is a digital world and a digital organization. And the upwardly mobile path in this world now is some level of digital literacy. We had this crazy idea of building a school on top of community, curriculum, and capital to empower anybody with ambition and aptitude to have an opportunity for upward mobility, to have an amazing career in the software energy, in, in industry. The tech talent gap in this country is a challenge and it's a challenge that we love to solve with many amazing people and community leaders that believe that there are, are amazing organizations like a Fortune 100 company like Allstate that is transforming its organization and building amazing uh, software engineering jobs. And as companies big and small and innovators like Allstate modernize their computing platforms, that transformation must be led by modernizing their human capital, by empowering more and more people. And there will be, over the course of the next several years, more than 2.6 million unfilled STEM jobs. Um, there is a tremendous gap of supply and opportunity for those to be part 
of this growing, exciting industry. Business demands that the technology leaders be creative and resourceful and as close to the business insight as possible. And it's great leaders like um, Allstate and Andy Zitney, their CTO, who I'll have the honor of recognizing next, that are making this large commitment to hiring more than 100 students that will come out of this campus. And before I part from my words, look at this amazing warehouse, this amazing district. We're gonna take uh, a beautiful asset and transform this. Everywhere Galvanize has gone, um, this will be our ninth campus um, in the United States. Um, we transform iconic, beautiful buildings into thriving, bustling places of innovation, of, of, uh, of empowerment of individuals. So imagine in about nine, 10 months from now, in fall of next year, this place will be bustling with hundreds and hundreds of innovators, of engineers, of students learning how to become data scientists and software engineers and some of the smartest, brightest people that are transforming this community in the world. Innovation can happen anywhere. Um, we uncovered this idea that an urban entrepreneurial renaissance was taking shape in urban centers around the world. And we are so proud to be part of your community and to help catalyze exactly what will happen here in the city of Phoenix and in the warehouse district. So again, um, it is with great humble pride that Galvanize is excited to be here, to be part of your amazing community and help fuel um, the technology workforce that will take this community forward. And I'd like to introduce my next colleague. colleague he's a CTO of Allstate, um, Andy Zitney, to make his comments. Thank you. All right, now those two acts are really tough to follow up. I'm not gonna do the thank you thing. I gave Jim like 10 bucks to thank everybody. <laughs> so he got that out of the way for me. Um, we actually talked about this morning uh, about what to say and, and where to take the conversation. And I'm gonna steal Jim's idea. Um, it sounds like a bad joke, or at least the beginning of a bad joke, right? Getting somebody from academia, the government, and a 90-year-old insurance company together to innovate, right? <laughs> where, where's that gonna go? Um, but luckily, you have completely different train of thought here. The leadership that is forward thinking and thinking about innovating, right, in Phoenix, in, in the entire popula population of Phoenix and the government that's running Phoenix and grow that out. Grow that out into the universities, grow that out into Galvanize, and grow it out into the, also the business economy and the business that is sitting here, not, in, not just in the startup community, but across the local economy that are all thinking that if you're not in a software company, you're not gonna be employed. Whether that's a 90-year-old insurance company or a brand new startup, the center of the universe is gonna be driven around IT technology and that's gonna be driven out of software development. Everything's gonna be run out of those, those disciplines. And that's where Galvanize sits right in the center of this partnership. They've seen that vision, they've seen it for some time now, and they've developed a school and a, a curriculum that helps train, educate, retrain, retool, or bring brand new people into that mix. From an Allstate perspective, you're looking at a 90-year-old company that has much, much brand recognition in the insurance industry. It doesn't have that brand recognition in technology and driving as an innovator through technology. I'm, I, I came to Allstate about 18 months ago, met Jim shortly after that. I think we talked about this location and we talked about it for about 12 months now. So I'm very excited to be part of this announcement, but from an Allstate perspective, we're making a commitment and this is a very, very low end commitment. This is the most conservative side of it, of hiring 100 to 150 of the students every year out of Galvanize. The Galvanize history in Allstate goes back much further than this announcement. We've actually kicked off a partnership with them internationally over in Northern Ireland, and we're looking to build that out, that same community, that same kind of execution, and that same kind of quality of jobs, higher level jobs, software development jobs, and everything around data analytics that you can think of. I, have to do, I do have to say one thank you. Um, to Jim, obviously, for continuing to hound me for, for over a year to make sure this happens, to make sure we get this to happen in this community, in this district, and pull off what we think is gonna be a game changer for Allstate. 
where you'll see software developers delivering beautiful products, not only for our agents, but for all the consumers. The thought of frictionless insurance, the thought of mobile applications tracking what you do so that you can only pay by the use. Different style of insurance. Think, if you go back, think, think it's not your father's insurance company anymore. It's that style commercial, right? And we're looking forward to bringing a team to Colo down here with Galvanize and actually bring an innovation center to this location so that it's not just Allstate, it's not just Galvanize, it's not just WebPT. We have other partners. Hopefully there will be follow-up announcements and we'll be bringing them to the community too. So this is like day one of something much bigger and broader than, than just this facility for the warehouse district. I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, with that, it's my pleasure to make the next announcement to Councilwoman Gallego, who is really the driver behind the passion of the warehouse district, right? That sees this and takes the leadership role of driving this to an economic center and, and a technology center for the city of Phoenix and what we see as actually what will be seen as a global view of a technology center that's going to rival the likes of the valley, Silicon Valley, not Phoenix Valley, for things like IT security, software development, and everything else. We're glad to be a, proud of, a part of it, and thank you for your leadership, and I'll let you take over. Thanks. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. I'm excited to see Allstate make, remake insurance right here in our warehouse district. So I am Kate Geiger. I have the pleasure of representing this area on the Phoenix City Council, and I'm very excited to be here with you today, along with my colleagues, uh, Vice Mayor Valenzuela and Mayor Stanton. We all share a real passion for entrepreneurship, and um, when I was first elected and met, sat down with the mayor, we talked, I think half the meeting was about how excited we were about the warehouse district, what was already happening here, and what we could make happen next. And it's uh, with great partners we've been doing it. So today I'm wearing the warehouse district shirt. You uh, saw it, Mike Kelly also had one. We have a great group of business leaders who are coming together and, and partnering with us um, to make all sorts of investments in this community. So you've seen uh, new sidewalks, new infrastructure, grid bikes. The city's really trying to come and be a great partner in supporting the exciting things that are happening in the warehouse district. This district really was the foundation for Phoenix's agricultural economy where all the commerce came together and we see it as being the foundation for the next round of innovation in the economy, remaking insurance, remaking physical therapy, really looking at, at businesses and how we can make them stronger, more innovative. I think great businesses don't like to be stuck in small boxes. They like big innovative spe spaces, they like spaces with great history, and Galvanize gets that. I uh, the pleasure of going to grad school very near Galvanize's San Francisco campus, which is in the heart of a very historic area right next to headquarters for major tech companies. It's creative spaces that bring together great people. You never know what you're going to get when you mix them all together, but I think Galvanize is going get, to get, get us really big results for this area. And it's a demand we've heard a lot in this community. I represent a lot of the aerospace and advanced business services, and we hear from them regularly. We need more computer science talent in our community. So first we went to Arizona State University. And they stepped up in a big way with four-year degrees. But we've also heard we just need, there's some places we need certificates. We can get people in and out in a few months and working, and Galvanize is stepping up to fill that niche as well. So the city of Phoenix hopes that we can be a great partner in giving a little bit of support to the companies who will then take it to the next level and just bringing together the right people. And today we have done that, bringing together innovative economy, jobs, great training, all in one place, trying to answer the needs for our economy to continue to put Phoenix on the map. And Phoenix is hot. <laughs> the where, yep. Phoenix is hot and the warehouse district is white hot. Every day there's another great entrepreneurial company coming to the area. Or it's, it's, I just want to give everyone the, the tip. This is going to be the place to be during the national championship football game as well. All of the coolest parties are going to be in the warehouse district because people love these unique spaces. You can't find this anywhere else in the country with the great, great creative spaces right next to our downtown. 
And so this is something, an area where you should look for continued investments. The cool factor is just, you can't compete with that anywhere else. And so we're gonna continue to invest and, and really be an engine for the entire economy. One of the neat things the city is doing in a partnership is we're providing support for graduates of Galvanize that go anywhere in our region, not just within the city of Phoenix, but if they stay within the Metro Phoenix area. And that's a real credit to, to Mayor Stanton who says Phoenix wants to be a regional partner. If we're doing things for our entire area, then it'll help all of us grow stronger. And so this is a win, not just for Phoenix, but for Tempe, for Gilbert, for Glendale, for our entire community. We're all working together to put Arizona on the map in a positive way and, and major credit to Mayor Stanton for looking beyond Phoenix and saying this will be a partnership that will help everyone. I have the pleasure of introducing some of the people who really kicked this off, who have seen the, the needs in the warehouse district and, and the advantage and have been great partners in founding our business association in the warehouse district, as well as one, leading one of our fastest growing companies in the area. It's like every day there's a new award for WebPT being recognized, for changing their industry, for changing the way uh, we view tech diversity. Really great partners. And uh, I have the pleasure of introducing Dr. Heidi Jeninga, one of the founders of WebPT. It's always awesome when you can pepper the crowd with some of your own employees to really give you a good one. So hello, everyone. This is uh, an amazing historic day. Um, my name is Heidi Jenanga. I am the co-founder and president of WebPT, which, for those of you who may not know, uh, is an electronic medical record specifically designed for physical, occupational, and speech therapists. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a brief history about WebPT, um, we first launched our company in 2008 in the back of a coffee shop right down here in downtown Phoenix with one employee. Today, here in 2015, we occupy 30,000 square feet across the way here. We're a three-time Inc. 500 winner, and we have 270 employees in a very short period of time. It's been truly amazing. It's been amazing, and I have to give credit to the people within our organization who have really been truly the foundation of our success. Uh, but not only that, just like it takes a village, it takes a community to really build and help uh, allow companies to be successful. And the city um, and this downtown warehouse district have been such great partners uh, with really helping us to, to become the, the uh, get the notoriety that we've been able to get um, over the last seven years. Even back in those coffee shop days, um, we knew the kind of company that we wanted, the kind of environment that we wanted to have, and Kate nailed it when she called it the cool factor. That's really what attracted us here to the downtown area. We knew we wanted a space that was more creative, um, open spaces where we could build collaborative uh, environments for our, our teams to work in. Um, an environment where we could wear flip-flops and jeans to work and it would be okay. A place where we could bring our dog to work if we wanted to. Um, it's, it, it was the freedom that we could have to really build an environment that our employees would want to come to work to every single day and that we would want to come to work to every single day. And that's what has really attracted us to the downtown Phoenix area and more specifically to this warehouse district to allow us to call WebPT home. As a growing company, we've actually moved quite a few different times. As you can imagine, going from zero to 270, you have to continue to grow your space. So we started out in the back of a coffee shop, like I said, up on 7th Street, just south of Indian School, literally in a coffee shop uh, storage room that we cleared out and, and created space for two IKEA desks. Um, then we quickly outgrew that, that area. We moved to uh, 2nd Street in Catalina. Uh, our first foray into this downtown warehouse district was right here at 7th Street in Grant, 
and the Levine machine. Uh, after we quickly outgrew that space, we, we entered that space with 5,000 square feet and approximately 16 employees, and we said, oh my gosh, what are we going to do with all this, with 5,000 5, square feet? Um, but within a year and a half, and then the success that we had gained in the company, uh, we knew that we would need to, to, to get more space. So luckily, Mike Kelly's uh, space across the street had opened up, and now here we are in 20, 2015 looking at, and breaking ground on this 60,000 square feet of this 120,000 square foot building. It's, it's just been amazing. All that moving around has kind of started us thinking about, and, and for whatever reason, I've come up with this analogy of WEPT as a hermit crab of the warehouse district. So if you think about what a hermit crab does, they find a home, as they continue to grow, they leave that home and move to a bigger, bigger, or find a bigger shell. And we have done that now throughout the downtown Phoenix area and what we leave behind is a shell that is able to be taken up by some other tech company. The tenant improvements that are able to be done by those owners of those buildings allows them to continue to be successful with gaining another tenant into that area. So we're very proud of our hermit, hermit crab status um, and just continue to look to our growth and success to really help to um, honestly make a dream that was my husband Brad's uh, dream from, from early on in seeing the potential in this downtown warehouse district of really making this become a tech hub. A tech hub in terms of bringing more tech talent like Galvanize and other companies to this area um, with this swell of the startup and technology that's really starting to happen here in downtown Phoenix. Success begets success is how we think about it. And, you know, we look forward to the continued success and within, you know, the next five years, truly bringing another 200, 250 jobs to this downtown Phoenix area. That's the type of growth we're anticipating. We are extremely proud to have been sort of a pioneer, as, as Kate was so nice to say, and, and, and Mayor Satin, in this area. Um, and we look forward to continuing to leading the charge in this downtown warehouse district because it is such an incredible area and the city has been so helpful um, in really making this area a great place to work. Um, I have the great pleasure now to introduce the next speaker um, who is Vice, Ma Vice Mayor Daniel Valenzuela. And he has been extremely instrumental and supportive of this downtown warehouse district and really the rejuven rejuvenation that has been so helpful for us to really find a place to call home. So thank you. Thank you so much, Heidi. WebBT is one of the greatest examples of a homegrown startup company that has caught fire, and uh, as Heidi just mentioned, to start with one employee to now have 270 employees and what's to come next. And uh, it's interesting to hear Heidi's analogy of wet PT and the hermit crab because I, I can't think of another startup, frankly, uh, who, who, is, who gives back as much as Brad and Heidi and, and wet PT always finding opportunities for the next startup and, and aspiring entrepreneurs, the guidance, the, uh, the, uh, the support that you provide for uh, Arizona Startup Foundation, the SPHX community, and on and on. So let's give Heidi another round of applause. And her. And many of the 270 employees that are peppered through here to support Heidi. You do all doing a great job. In the four years that I've uh, been in office with the City Council, I've been proud to help lead the City's efforts around tech and innovation and entrepreneurship. The groundbreaking of Galvanize here, the Warehouse District, is just a, it's a next step in solidifying Phoenix's position as a destination choice for tech and innovation. 
There was a time when cities would compete for business. Today, I'll tell you that Phoenix is competing for talent. Uh, funding and business follow the workforce, and our workforce can live anywhere. Uh, our local economy's success depends on equipping and educating our workforce with the tools needed for the 21st century jobs. Each galvanized uh, campus has a track record of graduating 1,000 students, 97% placement, with an average salary of $80,000 a year, securing a galvanized campus right here in Arizona is the latest sign that Phoenix's talent uh, development pipeline is becoming one of the best in the nation. This is one of the fastest ways to transform our workforce into the talent today's growing Yes PHX ecosystem and tech companies are craving. And I'd like to thank so many people, so many people that have already been thanked. Uh, this is a true uh, team effort. And for our partners from Galvanize, I hope you can feel the warmth, it's not just because you're coming from Denver and you're in <laughs> Phoenix right now, but this is an ecosystem that's welcoming you. Uh, we have Chris Camacho from GPEC, and of course, uh, ASU, uh, Angie Creedon is sitting right behind you. And, uh, and the list goes on and on. I especially would like to thank uh, Paul Blue, who is here, our deputy uh, city manager, who was with me when I first took a trip to visit with Galvanize in August of 2014. And I also would like to thank our Economic Development Director, Chris Mackey, Phoenix IDA Executive Director, Juan Salgado, Phoenix IDA President, Krista Severns, and Chris Petroff from GPEC for our most recent trip just about a month ago when we met with members of the Galvanize Board of Directors to continue discussions that help lead us to this really exciting uh, event today. I want to thank again our higher education institutions, our co-working spaces, accelerators, incubators, our YesPHX community leaders and business leaders for all that you've done and continue to do to make this the most welcoming and generous community for entrepreneurs. And Galvanize is the latest example, latest game-changing addition to the YesPHX ecosystem and, uh, and it's just really exciting to have you here. Now, thank you. Now I mentioned that it, it took a, a lot, it took a collaboration to, uh, to bring this, uh, this announcement to fruition. And uh, we, we couldn't have done it without Juan Salgado uh, and his leadership with the Phoenix IDA. Uh, he's highly respected for his leadership in bringing public-private uh, entities together to address uh, issues in education, housing, employment, and uh, uh, for underserved communities. He has been recognized as the Economic Development Leader of the Year by the Arizona Capital Times, received the Outstanding Individual Support Award by ACORN, and most recently received the Community Development and Finance Agency Award in Leadership. Uh, Juan has more than three decades of experience in community development, public finance, and affordable housing. He's an outstanding leader and a very good friend. Please welcome Juan Salgado to the podium. Vice Mayor, thank you for the kind introduction. I probably should quit while I'm ahead. So good afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here to celebrate the forthcoming edition of Galvanize to our business community. The uh, City of Phoenix and the Phoenix IDA share a common vision of enhancing one of the most sought after regions for leading edge high tech companies. The number one goal toward achieving that vision is a ready, ever expanding competitive workforce. The Phoenix IDA aspires to channel resources in a manner that increases the breadth and the depth of our organization's impact on community progress. We are proud that the Phoenix IDA is part of the collaboration that led to the attraction of Galvanize to Phoenix. We are committed to ensuring the ongoing sustainability of this catalytic industry sector within our community. 
We are confident that Galvanize will prove to be a significant contributor to the development of emerging high-tech companies and the quality jobs they create, as well as the production of well-educated, trained, and ready workforce those companies require. Team Galvanize, welcome to our community. We look forward to bearing witness to your success and positive economic impact your presence will have to our great city. Thank you. All right, I think I get to close the show today. And I think I'm batting double cleanup, which I don't think I've ever done before. Instead of uh, batting cleanup, we're doing double cleanup today. So first, I wanted to welcome Galvanize to the market. What a celebration of innovation and success here in the Warehouse District. You know, we're coming off a week of some exciting news with ASU uh, being announced to play in the bowl right up the street, which we're excited about, so go Sun Devils. We also heard that uh, the Fighting Irish are playing the Buckeyes here in Arizona as well, which is going to draw a lot of national notoriety to the market. And then obviously, this is a pinnacle moment for all of us that have spent uh, a lot of time, several months, even years, since our first conversation. And what it takes is, and I think Heidi eloquently stated this, it takes a community. And so on behalf of Greater Phoenix Economic Council, we have a mayor that instills the leadership necessary to drive an innovation economy across the region, not just myopically looking at the city, but really grasping the importance of interregional collaboration. At the same time, you have leaders on the council both, both Kate and Danny, who understand how to work together, how to drive economic strategies that really meet the needs of industry today. So if you look at it as an example, I think Allstate, just to pull this together, Allstate, a pinnacle giant in the insurance industry nationally, and many others that have significant operations here, you have this underswelling along the top of corporations grasping the need to innovate and understand the needs of the new workforce. At the same time, you have this really strong undercurrent in Metro Phoenix that this growing innovation, young talent base is starting companies. We love to take risk in Metro Phoenix. So we're starting more companies than, than almost every other market in the country. So if you look at how these two are coming together in a convergence uh, aspect, the future is going to be determined in terms of market position and who capitalizes on this war on talent. I think Galvanize, Galvanize really embodies uh, how you can have a training mechanism that's fast-paced, rigorous, that meets the demand of local industry, but also works in cooperation with the community college network, works in cooperation with the univers university system. So as someone who is you know, working on behalf of architecting the economy, I couldn't ask for a better locate. And we get to do this a lot. The mayor and council and I, we get to stand up here a lot and celebrate wins. Uh, but this one in particular is very satisfying because we know that this location in the heart of, of the core of downtown Phoenix and the warehouse district is going to be felt for generations to come and families are going to be impacted by the future jobs that are created here and placement that are, that are created from this training that's taking place in our backyard. So thanks, uh, you know, special thanks to all the WebPT employees that are here today going from 1 to 270. That's incredible. Congratulations to Heidi and Brad. Uh, congrats uh, to Leadership Kelly and, and building the vision of this place. Years ago, I'm sure you were the one that was probably viewed as the crazy one, right, that taking this on. And now we're ready to backfill that building just next door over the next nine months with another tech company. So we're really excited to celebrate IDA. What a great job and support. This is really a team and community effort, and we're really excited just to play a small part. Last shout out today, and I, I will finish briefly, uh, Chris Mackey, who, who's done an incredible job in her one-year transition uh, into the city of Phoenix, along with Paul Blue's leadership. Couldn't ask for a better partner at City of Phoenix. And a lot of the work that's been translated just in this last year is largely attributed to this new vision and new, new success plan on the economy led by the leaders here at the community. So thanks very much for everybody being here today and uh, celebrate success. Thank you.